Hi YouTube, hope your day is going well. Today's video, as the title says, is going to be a collective haul. Because I not only have clothing in this haul, I also have some beauty in here, a few other knickknacks, as well as accessories. Um, There's one item that you guys have been asking me about. And as per huge, I'm not only sharing my finds, I am also styling my finds. So if you like the fact that I review and style these pieces, make sure you hit that like button. So I know to continue to do that. I feel like I scored such great finds and I cannot wait to share it with you. If you're new here, my name is GT and on this channel we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle so if that's the kind of stuff you're into <laughs> sis you're in the right place uh, keep on watching so what should i start with should i start with accessories or should i start with clothing hmm i always start with clothing so let's start with accessories today so the so if you're following me on instagram you are no stranger to this purse this is my go-to everyday bag right now. I have been on the hunt for a bag like this for forever. It's totally giving me Bottega vibes, but for a fraction of the price. I got this for about 30% off. It comes in this black color. It also comes in a cognac color. I decided to keep this color. I returned the cognac color because I feel like this was just everything that I wanted. Um, the leather, the quilting, you would think this would be heavy, but it's surprisingly very light. I love the thick straps. And then of course, what sold me on this is this, um, rope mat chain detail. Now, if this thing right here was black, child, I would have had a bag orgasm. Okay. Bag orgasm. Bag bag garzim oh my god it's so good okay i'm gonna open it a little bit so without showing you guys too much because this is my everyday bag i have all kind of crap in here but it's a good size it fits my phone fits my keys it fits my wallet and all my receipts and all my crap in here um let's see the only thing that i would change about this bag would be to put some pockets in here because they're absolutely no pockets but aside from that sis she's a winner okay i did find a dupe for this bag as well on shein so i would link to that one as well if you're looking for something even more affordable but i like the price point and the quality of this so i'm absolutely happy with this purchase i mean look at the quilting detail it's, it's just giving me like bouillon um and like you know, uh, chocolate bar vibes, and I am in love. Speaking of things I'm in love with, if you're following me on Instagram, okay, you would already know about our first drop on Supple Chic, and that is the Phoenix, okay? She is a non-polarized cat eye pair of sunglasses. These are totally inspired by a designer pair and are a fraction of the price. What I love about these sunglasses is the fact that they are like year round sunglasses, okay? You can wear these in the summer, you can wear this in the fall, you can dress these, you can wear this with dressy outfits, with casual outfits. It's just one of those pieces that instantly shakes up anything you wear it with, the point, the square shape, just everything about it is just, on point and I like the fact that the lenses aren't super dark because it's perfect if you want to wear it in the winter time like now where it's subdued but you, it also has enough coverage so that you can also wear it in the summertime as well pair it with your swimsuits on vacation if we ever ever get to go anywhere <laughs> um you can also pair it with your joggers and a sweatshirt on the weekend you know for that off-duty chic style you can Pair it with a blazer and a trench coat if you're totally on your boss babe kick. Basically, it's just, it's an all-rounder, which is why she is our first launch on the site. So I will put a link to her if you're interested. 
in her and why wouldn't you be like why wouldn't you be anyways let me stop <laughs> So this next item is actually from a brand that I don't think I've talked about at all on my channel and that is Ann Taylor. I'm doing some work for them and um, this video is not sponsored in any way, by the way. And I'm just like, why haven't I tried this brand? The quality of the pieces I got from them remind me of like the quality of the pieces I get thrifting and I forget that clothes are still being made this way. like. You know, shopping fast fashion makes you forget. <laughs> I picked up from Ann Taylor is going to be this blue sweater dress. And I just love a good sweater dress, especially around this time of year, because it's perfect for like Thanksgiving, Christmas dinner. You get that cozy factor, but you're also kind of put together. This with a white boot. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I think it would be so popping with a white boot or even a snakeskin boot. I just absolutely love it. Um, I wear a size extra, extra large and a size 18 in all the Ann Taylor stuff. If you want the tee on this jacket, on this tank top, on my, um, on my lip color, all of that scoop will be in the description box below. In addition to all links to all the items I mentioned here. My sizing, my measurements, my height, all of that is in the description box for you. <laughs> okay, what was that? I don't know. Next item I grabbed is going to be this leopard. Yep, you see that? The leopard skinny jeans. So let me tell you a little story about these. I get questions from you guys about denim all the time. I decided to create a denim video that will go live on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, you should, the link to my Instagram will be down below. I recently shared where I get all of my boots and I also style them. So if you have any questions about boots, especially if you have wide calves, I got you. I will put a link to that video for you in the description box below. So I got this in a size 18 and honestly, I don't know if I'm gaining weight or losing weight or what, because I remember um, I had two pairs of Good American jeans in a size 18 and I ended up selling both of them because they were quite tight. But I am a huge fan of Good American Good Legs for skinny jeans and I, I have to be honest, I was totally over skinny jeans. Like I was like, skinny jeans, whatever, they're so 2016, right? But combat boots are back in style and skinny jeans and combat boots go together. So I've been, I feel like we all need at least a pair of skinny jeans and I really like the good legs. Now, Good American is more of a premium brand. However, I was able to score these jeans for over a hundred dollars off. Okay, yes, so if it's still available, I will link it for you down below. The next item is gonna be this bag. I got quite a few of you who either DM me on Instagram or left me a comment about this bag in my nasty gal haul. And I tried my best to answer everyone. Okay, if I didn't you know that that haul was in partnership with nasty gal and I didn't think it was, it would have been super kosher to start talking about another brand. Anyways, finally the scoop is here. I picked this up from Zara. She is just gorgeous. And honestly, what sold me to this is this chain. Now this chain is very Bottega Veneta. I don't know, is this bag Bottega Veneta? I don't know, but either way, she is gorgeous. The just like the dark denim with the contrast of this chain. I could probably take this chain off and turn it into a necklace. Anyway, let me stop. But it's just such a good look. I love everything about her from the hardware to the inside. She does have a zipper. Okay, so has a, a nice little compartment for you to put your valuables in here. She is nicely padded. I mean, I just, I, she's worth the money, child. She is worth it. Okay, I absolutely think this is one of my favorite purchases for this fall. Next item is going to be this hat, child. I don't even know how long this haul is. This haul's gonna be long. <laughs> child. Anyways, it's gonna be this hat. Oh my God. You don't know how many years I have wanted a lack of color hat. I finally bit the bullet and picked up 
this fedora. It comes all the way from Australia, and I actually had to pay express shipping because I needed it for a um, collaboration I was doing. But she's just such a beauty. She's just such a beauty. I can shed tears of how much of a beauty she is. Perfectly oversized. I love the satin trim um, around the fedora. I love the satin trim around the hat. She's perfectly stiff. I mean, I just love her. She's such a statement maker, okay? I have my Brixton fedoras that I have loved for years and I think I may actually put up for sale. And I finally just bid the bullet and invested in this lack of color version and I'm waiting for Black Friday so I can get it again in black because she's just such a statement maker. Um, if you are interested in my Brixton fedoras, let your girl know and I will give you the tea. I have one in black, I have one in tan, and this is specifically for my girls with bigger heads, okay? If you have a hard time finding hats that can fit your head, especially when you have wigs and your weaves, both the Brixton and the Lack of Color fit because you can customize your size. So it's not one size fits all. Really gorgeous palette. If you are, um, if you've seen my community post, I posted a look with this palette right here. And it's just so, so, so gorgeous. Um, I love this. This is a perfect sort of like holiday palette. This would also make a really cute gift for friends. And last I checked, it was on sale. One of those palettes that can really work for you regardless of what um, your skin tone is. So if you're lighter, if you're darker, you guys know I'm more on the darker side. There are colors in here for you. I am obsessed with the shimmery color in the middle. It just looks so beautiful and just catches the light. Now, I'm not a big palette girl, let me be honest. But the, what I like about the palette is, is that it has shimmery colors, but it also has matte colors. So whatever kind of floats your boat, you have that option with this palette. And this is the Modern Symphony palette by Bobbi Brown. I grabbed this from Nordstrom. I also grabbed a few other pieces from Nordstrom. This color on my lips, I actually did a collaboration with them and I used the uh, Modern Symphony palette on my eyes and this color on my lips as well. Y'all, why didn't y'all tell me? Why didn't you guys tell me about these NARS lip colors? Oh my God. I have tried a, a, my fair share of liquid lipsticks and this is the most like I don't even know how to describe it the most when you put it on it's so unassuming it's not sticky it doesn't dry your lips out it just it's almost like you don't have anything on your lips that is the best way I can describe it I the first time I tried it I was, I was taken aback because I was like okay wow okay and then randomly it was on my table and my mom was in my room and she tried it too. And she was like, wait, wait. She like, she asked, she asked me questions. She's like, where's it from? Where can I get it? You know, she started asking me questions about it because it really just feels like you have nothing on. It dries down. It's a very thin formula, but it's also super pigmented. It dries down so you can wear this with your mask and not be afraid so much of um, color transfer. So continuing on with my Amazon fashion um, escapades, I picked up this um, ribbed knit. I am a sucker for these ribbed knit tops during the fall and winter. They just make like the perfect layering piece, but they also kind of hold their own. I This color to me is just so delicious and kind of matches my lipstick. It's perfect for fall, perfect for Thanksgiving. This would be so cute for Thanksgiving. I would pair this with like some brown leather trousers or you guys can see I paired it with some jeans as well. And it's just, the color's just so rich. Something about the color just says money, okay? I originally got this in an extra, extra large. Sis, this stuff is stretchy. It was huge you can't tell from this um from the video but i had to like wrap it around so many times behind my back um just to get it to have like a little bit of a closer fit to my body and i ended up just returning that one and exchanging it for this one if you have not shopped the drop on amazon what are you doing 
okay? They just released a concession with Hilo Lux and they also have like their own essentials. So bags, jeans, tops, and everything that I have bought from Amazon made brands, Daily Rituals, The Drop, have always been on point, okay? The next item I actually shared already in the community tab. I don't know how many of you actually see what I share on the community tab because I don't know how that works on YouTube, but um, I shared this t-shirt on the community tab and I definitely got a question about where I got it from. So it is from Amazon. Um, when I wanna buy something, I go and like look on the Like To Know It app or even on Instagram to see if any other creators have reviewed it. Yup. I, I'm a content creator and I also, also follow content creators, okay? And so that kind of helps me gauge to see like if the item will fit me and et cetera and et cetera. So I think I saw a content creator share another version of this shirt. Um, and then, so when I went to like click on it and check it out, I saw this shirt and I liked it so much better. So I decided to grab it. I just love the neutral colors like the black and white and then the little leopard print action. It goes really well with my wardrobe. And I would easily pair this with like chunky sweater, but here it was just like a regular work day and I just threw on this. Okay, so I got this item in a size extra large and it does fit like a fitted t-shirt. So bear that in mind. If you're around my size, it will probably fit. If you're a little bit bigger than me, probably not. Next item is going to be this shirt dress from um, Rose C. Go. I actually got it via Vera Shop. If you have not heard of Vera Shop, um, they are basically like Amazon for fashion. Uh, you get all the items, free shipping and returns, two day shipping, says two day shipping. And you don't even have to pay extra for it. Yes, I'm throwing shade at that store that online retailer, you know the one. Um, so yeah, um, and what I really like about Vera Shop is they have a they have a nice like um, plus size indie concession. So this um, this dress is actually by Rose C. Go. Um, they are a small kind of like US based label. And as soon as I saw this shirt dress, I was like, mm, okay, I could, I could mess with that. So I am a huge fan of shirt dresses. If you don't know, I did a whole IGTV video on ways to style them. Even though I've always like made sure to have like a white shirt dress in my wardrobe, great. I've never had one that was quality until I got this one from Rosie Go. I absolutely love this dress. Now I got this in the size three. I could have sized down if I wanted to, but I like the fact that this does have a little bit of an oversized feel because then I can, it really allows me to wear it different ways. Like I definitely envision wearing this as cover up in the summertime. I could also pair it with a tank and shorts. You can see here that I styled it, I kind of layered a bustier or a tank top on top and it really helped me to cinch the waist. I love all the little subtle details with this piece. It has the black piping. Well, I believe it's black. Like sometimes I think it's actually navy. It just adds like some contrast and a little bit of detail. And then the best part of this dress is that it has pockets. It's made of a spandex, nylon, and cotton mix. And it just, you can just tell that it's quality. So if you're really looking to invest in wardrobe staples, this is something that will take you from work to weekend to vacation and back, okay? Um, I recommend this piece. I, um, if you didn't know, you can actually search Black Founded on Nordstrom and a bunch of Black Founded beauty brands pop up. I actually, um, learned this when I was doing the collaboration with them. And I really, really want to encourage us as people of color to support these brands and websites like Nordstrom. We talked a lot this year about black lives mattering, black businesses mattering. And in the end, the only thing that's going to keep the door open for businesses of color is impact by us supporting these brands. Because if we don't support these businesses, child, they're gonna be taken off the shelf. So with that said, sorry though, I'm pretty sure you guys already know this. I'm pretty sure I'm preaching to the choir, but I just wanted to say that. With that said, I picked up two items from 
two BIPOC founded um, beauty brands. The first is the Baby Tress. Um, you guys know these are like the low baby hair premium baby hair tool. Um, this one is going to stay in the box because I'm going to give it away. They have all the colors. I got this kind of like salmon orangey color. They also have, I'm pretty sure they have a black, a gray, but I figured this would make a cute other stocking stuffer. Who doesn't like their edges tamed? Who doesn't like their edges laid? To me, this is a great gift actually. It's under 20, so if you're looking for something fun to throw in a stocking, sis, I, the link will be in the description box down below. The next brand that I picked up something from was the 54 Thrones Butter. So they actually have like this in shower um, soap thing <laughs> that I really wanted, but it was like $84. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna support them anyways. And I grabbed this butter. This is the Egyptian Lavender and Plus Moroccan Mint. This one is for me, so I could take it out of the packet. This is just gonna be like a cute little hand cream that I can throw in my purse or keep in my car. It says, fusing the depths of West Africa with the allure of East Africa, a majestic blend of Ugandan and Ghanaian shea butter sets the foundation for a luxuriously creamy and silky smooth African body butter. So like I said, luxuriousness, okay? Straight from the motherland that I grabbed is going to be this suede like ruched um midi skirt you guys know I love a good midi skirt okay they are my go-to silhouette and style and I like the fact that this one had the detail on it it just adds a little bit of interest to traditional midi skirt and I also like that this one is suede because you know as we go into the cooler months it'll give you a little bit more I don't want to say warmth because it's not like super heavy, but it does have some weight to it that it will help you keep you a little warm. So this is another item that I got from one of the concessions on Vera Shop, and this is from the Hours brand. So I got this in a size M, and of course I will link to it down below. And it's quite stretchy. Honestly, I could have probably sized down in this item. When it comes to pieces like this that are a little bit, that, that tend to hug around the belly area and the hips, having a little bit more room doesn't hurt. Then of course you can see when I styled it, I decided to style it with a power shoulder shirt and some pumps. So these next checkered pants I got in the size 18. I love the fact that it has the gold buttons. It's just an added detail. The houndstooth print is very, very versatile. It's a neutral print, so you'll be able to pair with everything. But again, it's one of those pieces that will add some flavor to your outfit. I'm wearing it in a size 18. If it's true to size, it fits me great. So on the site, it's called a knit pant but and, and so I, I was expecting it to be like a lot more like flimsy and light when I received it no sis this is a knit but it's like a very thick sort of like heavy wool knit perfect as we go into fall and winter I would totally wear something like this if you have uh, for Thanksgiving especially if you're like hosting I love it because you're getting like that comfort of like a knit but you're also getting some structure. I don't know what it's made out of. I should probably look at the tag. If you have any questions at all about it, let me know in the comments. So I promised you guys that I was actually gonna include some knickknacks and I would love for you to share down below in the comments if you like me including these knickknacks or if you want me to stick to just sharing fashion. This is a fabric shaver and this is a must have okay for um fall and winter if you have all those knits that get those pilly balls like in between the legs or in the armpits or just generally because the fabric is trash um, use it on your wool coats i have a couple of coats like my favorite 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 um camel coat that you guys always ask me about has a couple of bobbles so i will be using this on it this stuff right here will save your life um i also got it during prime day because of the deal on it <laughs> and it just really helps to remove lint and baubles it has two speed settings three cutting blades and it's completely cordless just ideal 
okay, for helping like bring back those pieces that are starting to show some age. So I will put a link to this in my description box down below, which should already be in my Amazon store. Speaking of fabrics and the lint, um, one thing I realized like, as I've been, you guys know, I moved into this new place last year and slowly decorating the place. I literally got rid of everything or almost everything from my last place because if you have a, t a boy, okay, I had the same furniture from when he was like three to when he was like 11 and it just had to go. So I've been, you know, following, I started following a ton of home decor accounts. I have a whole home decor section on Pinterest. And one thing I noticed is that oversized pillows just make an area look just elevated and chic. But child, them things are expensive. Anyways, I was just like trying to figure out like how I could get that same sort of like luxe vibe for less. And I saw them on another content creator's um, um, like to note account and I clicked on it and since just the pillow covers were like $70. I was like, no. When it comes to look for less, sis is the queen, okay? But anyways, so what I did is I went onto Amazon because I was like, I was like, there is no way Amazon does not have this. I was able to find similar pillow covers and I was able to get two of those plus the two inserts for the same price as one pillow cover from Pottery Barn. Don't get me wrong, I know there's a quality thing. I'm pretty sure the one at Pottery Barn is actually Mongolian fur but I'll take the look for less. I got like the, I don't know what to call this color, like more of like a taupey um, color, which you guys are seeing right now. And I also got it in cream as well. And this is what it comes like packaged. This is the pillow cover and it's by the Thantoscope brand. So I will link to the, my exact um, pillow covers and pillow insert if you're trying to get the same look. Um, when I'm not on YouTube, you can always find me on Instagram. If you have a burning question that you need um, answered like right now, right now, cause you have stuff in your cart and you're about to check out, you can always slide in my DM. I would be happy to answer your questions. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, especially if you want me to keep creating these haul videos, if you want me to keep styling these pieces. It really helps me out. So I appreciate you paying it forward. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And for more videos just like this, make sure you check out this video and make sure you check out this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.